So, welcome back to Retro Sunday. Chrono Trigger, the faded hour. We are 16 hours and 15 minutes into the game. We've done all the side quest bullshit. Everybody's like almost kind of hitting level 50. And really, to the, math squad. the only thing to do is to welcome Zara into the math squad and carry on. Um, I'm going to miss this game. I was thinking about that while I was sitting there jamming to that too mellow action. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the year 1000. Everybody has all their best gear already. We are kitted out. There is nothing left to do, I guess, except maybe grind if we wanted to. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go get in the epoch, and we are gonna fly our asses to the year 1000. We're gonna do that, Black Omen. Josh Long, welcome back. So yeah, I'm thinking the year 1000 will be the place where we're going to do this, because you know it's the present. And uh, yeah, we've got a big floating dungeon to do. Um, I don't know if this is the team that I want to bring though, right? Because like, we got magic, right? Like we got Marl and Chrono and Magus, and like that's, man, I feel like they're an okay team. Right? But Robo and Isla are really good, and Isla can steal shit. So I'm thinking I might swap her in. I kind of feel like Isla needs to be on the team. Now, I know, I know my, I know my team, my strong team, is Chrono, Isla, and Robo. But I don't know if they're the best option. What do y'all think? You're playing this with me. Yeah, those sick triple techs. It's true, right? It's true. So, like... I don't know. What do we think? I know, Megus is going to be sad if I don't bring him along, but... Isla's just so good, though. Like, these two are real good. Marl is the best healer, but I don't know if I need that. Like, I feel like Robo can heal. Chrono Magus Isla? Yeah. That I mean again the heals are low if I don't bring Robo or Marl. I feel like Robo or Marl need to be on the team. Like, this is this is my tough team, but they don't have magic. So Yeah, I mean we could just go Marl, Luca, Isla, and fuck Chrono, fuck Robo. Gay triad. Right? Like what's the what's the best what's the best team? Frog's a good healer too, yeah. That's a good point. Um well, let's see what the internet says. Best team, Chrono Trigger, end game. The internet, the internet in their opinion, thinks that the best team, Chrono, Robo, and any third character. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I think let's try this and if we run if we run low on healing we can just we can just pop in Marl instead. Um and I think we wanna charm we wanna charm top. Uh so let's here, let's go and unequip the good shit from these dudes. Here, have a bandana. Here, have a bandana. Oops, something. Okay. I can't remember what the flea vest does. Um, oh yeah, we want to do cut the MP use. We want her to have like maximum possible damage output for punching. What do you got? Power scarf. That seems pretty good. And then what do the prism specs do? Oh, power glove. Could have used this earlier on in the game. Um, let's. Oh, the flea vest is plus twelve magic defense. Okay. All right. Well, let's give. Uh, let's give him. Yeah, prison specs. Attack power to max. And then here we'll give her. Cause she's already pretty like weak to magic. Um, and she needs to be wearing the charm thing. Whatever the hell that is. 
I got one, right? Charm job. Okay, good. There you go. So it's not, it's a, it's a, great, perfect. All right. Robo, Chrono, Isla, kitted out, ready to go. Let's do the thing. Hey, look, there's a spaceship. Laser guards. Yeah, the one disadvantage of, of having Robo on the team is that he is slow AF, like way slow. But that's okay. We do what we can. Where's that laser spin? Yeah, Chrono dealing 800 damage because he's got that rainbow sword or whatever it's called. So yeah, technically we can do this dungeon three times. Uh, we can do this dungeon three times if we wanted to, um, because we're doing it in each timeline. But I'm not sure I have the energy for that. Fools! I feel, I feel like I should have mom bond her voice from the beginning. Fools! Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos and Das was me, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Why would you do that? Within 999 years to become ruler of this world. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. Okay, Edge Mom. No, I think if you do it in the year 1000, then you go you go back in time to keep doing it because then you get each uh, you get the items. Yeah, so I'm I'm in the furthest timeline. Then I could go back to the past to do it again. You should sacrifice yourself to the mighty Lavos. <laughs> no. Bye. Secrets. Oh no, it's a mega mutant. Chaotic zone of chaos. So I'm not sure what enemies I need to steal from, but I know I can get like an infinite amount of mega elixirs if I steal from the right person in this dungeon. To the hey, Rocket Orca. How you doing? Ooh, a vigil hat. I stole that hat for you, Orca. Oh no, mutant gas! Is the thought that counts? Nope, there's an elixir. Dope! Alright, Robo, kick the shit out of this guy. We do have a tur- Oh yeah, these are the guys that have that triple- the triple technique. Okay, cool. Um, let's do some not getting killed. Oh no! Blackened! I keep having Chrono attack the wrong target. Okay, there we go. Yeah, bang on that mutant. Fuck you and your proboscis. This is kind of the team I spent most of the game with, so I, I like I know they're all they're all geared up and like kitted out. And so they have a slight level advantage on everybody else, but only by one or two. I should have bought more items before I came in here, hey? Oh well. I like this cool sci-fi dungeon. Alright, creepy shield guys. Nope. Get that other one. Get him. Yeah. 
messed up. All right, I'm gonna see if I like, can steal anything from this guy. Survey says, oh, nothing. Sorry, Gil. Though I guess it's not Gil yet. They haven't invented Gil. This is back in the Super Nintendo era. This is pre-Gil. So the the Black Omen breaks the it breaks the time-space continuum, right? Like it exists in all times and places. I wonder how that's possible. I also love the idea of a thing that's so like if you if you were a casual observer, if you were in or, or is it multiple black omens? It must be, because if I go back in time, I can get more items. So it kind of doesn't break it. It just happens to exist in all the places. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, black omen. Hmm. I blame Lavos. That's fair. Lavos is blamable for these things. Um, the reason I ran out of the room is because I want to I wanna heal up, and then I want also to redo that fight, because I think I can... I don't, I don't think that I grabbed... Um, I, try, I didn't try to steal from those things. So. Let's see if they have anything good. Um, the effort would not go amiss if somebody were to look up... Hyper Ether, cool. If somebody were to look up uh, what it is that I need to steal from to get the good items in here. So that I don't have to just like keep stealing from all of them. But those Hyper Ethers are pretty good. Yeah, the Black Omen still exists in 2300, but because Lavos has already emerged, um, you can't do anything. You just The queen just talks shit, and then it's over. Let's see if we can keep stealing these hyper ethers. Or do they have one apiece? No, they have one apiece. Okay, let's just murder them then. Okay, so hyper ethers from the... the dome turrets from the Martellos. The Hydrochondra give Mega Elixir? Okay, cool. Thanks, Snapes. I appreciate that. Hydrochondras. We'll keep an eye out for them. And then there's a thing you get a power tab from uh, Blubber Hulks. Okay. Whoa, hi. Akira Toriyama designed monsters. Goons! Hired goons! I definitely didn't play this game as a kid with headphones, so the stereo is really obvious, which is kind of cool. I never noticed it, obviously, when I was a kid, but... Hear ye, hear ye. Spiky beams. Nice, Isla, nice. Okay, Robo, heal some shit. Unfortunately, I assume that his healing is not as good because his magic stat is quite low. Right? Like, that's what it's based on. Like, your damage and your healing come from your magic stat being a certain uh, value. So, I guess that's why... I don't know, I'm still a little worried that I'm not going to be able to heal through stuff, but I guess if I have items, like if I'm carrying around a bunch of Mega Elixirs and shit, then I'll be, uh, I'll be good to go. The game is not shy about handing those Elixirs out, too. Jazzy piano.
Yeah, these enemies hit really hard. It's cool, like it's good, but yeah, they're they're pretty powerful. Um, you know, like a third or a quarter of your health in a single hit. Let's try to steal from these syncrites. We get gold earrings. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Not like I need another one, but then I guess Magus could have two. It's a good way to give you the items that you might be missing, um, you know, if you haven't collected them already. Here, Chrono hasn't had a chance to do Luminary yet. Let's do it. That looks like a Teal Ultima. Holy shit. We're not lying about that ultimate damage. Another Hyper Aether. We have any shelters? Yes, we do. Two of them. Yeah, I was always aware that the the stealing abilities, like in this and in Final Fantasy, were like a thing, and you could get some cool gear. But I just never, I just never bothered. Um, here, let's see. What do I get from panels? Anything good? Uh. Uh, speed capsules. Okay, sure, why not? Let's let her steal first, then I'll Ultima them. <laughs> Luminaire does not fuck around. No, you're right. I guess if I gave Chrono one of those gold earrings, we could just constant Ultima. Steal me another speed tab. I'm gonna give these to Robo to try to overcome his like shitty slowness. Yeah, Luminaire spam just over and over. Kill everything in two hits. The thing is, I don't want to kill stuff. I want to like gently beat on them until they give me all their items. Then I want to kill them. There we go. Use those speed caps. Speed up, Robo. I mean, if you haste Chrono, he gets to go like three times before anyone else does. But what I want to do is like get. I want to. I want to fix Robo as much as I can. Look at that. It's already helping. All right, let's keep doing it. That's cool. It's cool when those items don't feel pointless. When you do a thing like that and it actually shows you some improvement in the character's stats. Because so often in these games, you're like, great, my curmudgeonliness has gone up by four. What does that mean? I don't know. Probably nothing. It's like having a luck stat in a game. You know you should be spending points on it, but you never do. Yes, Mad Adric, you can do this room for an infinite amount of speed caps. That's, yeah, that's very much a thing you can do. I'm gonna wait until Isla gets to go, because I didn't get a tab from this guy. Oh, really? The, the panels are only... Oh, right, because they blow up after. You're right. Yeah, ignore me. I'm wrong. Oh, come on. I have no, like, defend ability, so I just have to wait. <laughs> Maybe this guy doesn't have one. Maybe it's a... It's a bad panel. Let's see what happens. There we go. Kill it! We have its tab! Now we destroy it! There definitely is a monster that gives power tabs, though, that doesn't go away. Um, which I think is super cool. Okay, here we go. So, speed tabs. Get fast, Robo. Get fast. Let's see. Yeah, okay, alright.
Lock all. Can't use tech or items. Great. Good thing my swords are also good. No, Robo. Don't punch the boss orb. Hmm. You gotta love that the game just called him Boss Orb. <laughs> there is a, there's a tabletop game. Uh, DCC uses a luck stat, but luck is actually really useful. What's cool about luck in DCC is that when the GM has to pick something bad to happen to a character, like randomly, oh yeah, 666. When you need something bad to happen to a character randomly, it's uh, it always happens to the person with the lowest luck stat, which I think is so funny, right? Like imagine imagine if they had that in D&D, like regular D&D, where it was like, okay, someone in the party gets attacked by this, this goblin. I need to randomly deter, nope, it's the person with the lowest luck. You just get beat on. Instead of rolling randomly, uh, it's I, I think it's a clever and, and it's a fun way to get around that. Because as a GM, you always have to kind of pick who gets fucked over. So if you're the person with the lowest luck stat, it's always you. Um, you can also burn luck, right? You burn luck to get uh, bonus points on rolls. So you're in this position where you have to be careful uh, about uh, making... Uh, you know, spending your luck, because if you're the lowest, you always have to be one more above the lowest person in the party. Um, you know, I guess we do this in Stars Without Number, too, because Stars Without Number has a luck save, so whenever I need to determine... Whenever I need to determine whether or not somebody is, like, in danger uh, of a random thing happening, yeah, luck save. It's nice. As a gym, it's nice to have that. Yeah, luck is a, it's a stat and a resource. So if you have 18 in luck, you have 18 points that you can spend. Oh, what? Come back, sidekick. All right. Yes, Medadric, exactly. It's a good way to disclaim responsibility. Yes. The shitty amount of XP for the kind of boss fight that you have to, the, or the kind of fight that that is. Go. Yeah, you can also roll uh, luck checks with your stat, too, because it works just like every other stat. So if you need to know, like, are you lucky enough to do this, then you roll. Something where no, there's no skill that's applicable and it's just, like, how lucky your character is, yeah, you get to roll the stat. Unlike in a JRPG, right? In a JRPG, luck often is just, like, the magical side stat, like, vigor or whatever, where it, like, does something, but you can't really tell. Also, Niren, welcome back. Thank you. See, there you are. There's Niren. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff uh, as, a, as a GM. The stat that, like, your character... The character doesn't know. Um, it's nice when the game mechanizes that stuff, too. Even if there isn't a stat, right? Like, it just talks about... It's also... Yeah, it also says... It also says in the book... Um, and I can't remember if I'm paraphrasing or if this is just something that we hacked into the game, if it's actually in the game, but the way we play DCC, uh, anytime a player, like, forgot something or, like, fucked something up, uh, like, if I was like, how many arrows do you have left? And they were like, I don't know. Every time they tried to make an attack until they could buy more arrows, I made them make a luck check first. And if they failed the luck check, they would go for the arrows, and I'd be like, that's it, you ran out of arrows. Um, it's a good way to, uh, like, fix some of the holes in the in the game it creates some some opportunities to go a little bit meta uh in a way that doesn't break the game because there's a stat you could just build a character who's like incredibly lucky um like halflings for example halflings regenerate their luck no you know i haven't played dcc on stream but i talk about it enough you'd think that i would have i definitely should all right who are these guys something mute I can try to steal from them because I get my abilities again. Let's see what they give me. Hello. 
hyper ethers. Okay, cool. Well, we will take hyper ethers. Right now. DCC, uh, and I've said this before, DCC has my favorite um, published adventures, like, hands down. People of the Pit. Such a good adventure. They're all good. They're all really good. If you're looking to play through some, like, cool, very weird adventures. They also have a new game, and I can't remember if it's out or if it was just kickstarted. I haven't seen the, the full version of it. Um, it's called Mutant Crawl Classics, which I guess MCC is to... Uh, MCC is to Gamma World what DCC is to D&D, which is kind of neat. Oh, okay, MCC hasn't come out yet? Yeah, I will definitely check that out when it comes out too, because that's a neat, uh, that's a neat idea. Eh, Flyclops. Hey, look, Robo got to go first. That's cute. No, fuck you, Luminaire. Let's get the fuck out of this fight. If anybody lives after this, I'm gonna steal their stuff. See what the flyclops have. Gold studs. All right. I mean, I guess I could sell those studs. Teleporter time. Let's get in it. This dungeon is incredibly linear, which is nice. It's what I want. I don't want to like do a lot of running around, fucking trying to find shit and hitting switches and junk. I just want, I just want an elevator boss fight. I just want fucking simplicity of design for this this end bit. All right, what do we got? Ruminators. Just luminaire them. Let's see what we get. Oh, Mega Elixir's awesome. Also, did that Ruminator kill another Ruminator? Is that what happened? It kind of seemed like it was. Oh yeah, totally. They're just cannibalizing each other. That's so funny. Yeah, Nizumi, that would be really funny if you got in an elevator. Right, and then this is how I get infinite mega elixirs, right? We could just go back up and down. Um, also, yeah, I want to check everybody's stats. So, Robo's speed is 14. Oh, Robo is officially the fastest member of the party now. Also, Jaxo Lantern, welcome back. Yeah, look, because of those four that we gave him, he's now one faster than everyone else. Perfect. Um, it would be really cool, as Nizumi was saying, uh, to have you get on the elevator, the boss music start, 30 seconds go by, and then nothing, right? Like, the, the fake-out elevator? That'd be really funny, because it's such a cliche, right? God 
damn it. Thought that counted. All right, I'm gonna just go up and then we'll go down one more time. I don't really need that many more Mega Elixirs. What would be the point of the enemy using that ability at full health? It seems silly. Like you'd think that the trigger would be based on them losing health? I don't know, what do I know? I don't I don't design Super Nintendo games for a living. fight these guys. Cybots didn't fight them on the way up. Yeah. Jamming it out. Per perfect. Yeah. Whatever you just said. Power meal. Alright, Isla is running very low on charm. I just want to earn silver points. Oh, and power meal is the thing that makes your, um, it's like a power tab, but better, right? I'm gonna make that my text noise. See you later, palette swap to Gato. It's not just ethereal, it's hyper ethereal. Alright, so let me take a look at that power meal. Um, it looks like. Oh, recovers from question mark. What? I don't understand. What does that what does that mean? I'm gonna look it up. Power meal. Chrono trigger. Recovers from confusion, maybe? Oh, randomly heals MP, HP, or both. Weird. It doesn't actually it's not you you don't recover from question. It's recovers random something. That's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> it heals you from your cybergenesis. You can't heal cybergenesis. You don't go back, only forward. For forward and through. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Um, let me heal up. More of these assholes? Come on, guys. I have all these cool abilities that you designed into the game. Why are you not letting me use them? Bitey face. Nope. Okay. There we go. Okay.
Ow. You know, it's 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 fine to fill your last dungeon with all kinds of stuff, but like making me fight the same monsters that I can I can't use my special abilities over and over is really annoying. Um actually I assume the ruminators were like Isn't rumination isn't that also means like uh like chewing on grass like don't cows ruminate? Chewing uh, uh like grass or whatever? Ah, I killed your boss. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, chewing their cud. Ruminating, exactly. They're herbivore viper men. I think that the game is just making me fight these things so I don't luminaire my way through the dungeon. Because it gave me that... It gave me that ability, and then they're like, nah, that's too strong. Like the DM that accidentally gives you a plus five sword and is like, yeah, but you're in a dungeon where um, all of the metal stuff is, uh, you can't use it. It's really heavy because there's a dark elf and he, he's he got a magic song that makes it so you can't, I don't know, GM horseshit, whatever, just move on. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Get off Isla's head! The sacred beams of Triangulus! Ah, oh, that was two charms I could've used. I will straight up kill you, Flyclops. First, I will take nothing. I'm so curious about Chrono's past. Like, where did he learn to be such a badass swordsman? Where did that come from? Like, I thought he was just a kid that lived in town. How old is Chrono supposed to be in this game? Do we know anything about him except that he has a mom and then died? <laughs> like, like he's he's he goes above and beyond the like silent protagonist and has become the no one can figure any kind of information about him protagonist. Like, I guess he has a friend. Luca is his friend. We know that, right? He exists in the world. He has a cat. Yep, a cat and spiky hair. Good. It's all very important. He has no dad, so he must be Jesus. Yeah, he has holy powers. Again, also like Jesus. You don't remember that part in the Bible where Jesus goes out into the desert and the devil shows up and he's like, Hey Jesus, you should you should turn on your dad. And then Jesus is like fucking blasts him with Luminaire. You don't remember that? They have a sword fight? It's a big part of the button, no? The katana apocrypha? I love that part of the Bible. It's the best part. And then Jesus gets on his motorcycle and rides out of Nazareth, wearing a leather jacket and no shirt. And no helmet, because when you're the son of God, you don't wear a helmet. Come on. Like, I'm 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 loath to even say this, but like Cloud has more personality. Fucking the cloudboard box has more personality than Chrono. And that's not, I mean, that's a choice. Yeah, kill him before the other guy can vampirize him.
Ow! Oh god, they use that ability on you and it just wrecks face. Okay, alright. cool guys and lo did Jesus unto the black omen fight another boss orb and it was good I just I'm gonna just keep tapping the a button until this fight is over because that's how you win this fight The piano music in this is really quite cool. Like it goes back and forth between being like energetic, like this part, and then the like the quiet part. I don't know. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, a deeper and deeper uh, uh, familiarity with and fondness for the music in Chrono Trigger. I don't think I really appreciated it when I was a kid because children can't appreciate anything because they're cultureless slime. But. As an adult, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I'm feeling good. Okay, so the Martellos are worth stealing from. You know, House Martello? The turret house? like anything over here? Of course, the random encounter is over here. Just waiting for me to get on it. Oh, I don't time stop my robot. robot. Didn't really seem to work, did it? Guy, you know what was tedious about Final Fantasy 1? If you pick the fight command and you go to fight on uh, a monster and that monster gets killed, your character does nothing. You have to plan in advance the number of attacks you're making. It's, ugh, it's tedious as fuck. Uh, the game's really charming though, especially how um, partway through you can uh, you can upgrade what class you are. Um, it's cool, because it's basically like prestige classes, right? You go from being like a thief to a ninja, which I always thought was really cool. I don't want to wear Ozzy's fucking underwear on my head, but I will get another vigil head. That's cool. Um, how are we doing for armor? Yeah, Nova armor, which is the best, and then... Oh yeah, there we go. Upgrade from the Aeon suit. Wicked. Another Nova armor, which is fine, I already stole one. Another Mega Elixir. What will you do? Aw, oh, shop. This must be... This must be nearing the end of the game. <laughs> um, well, I have 19 Hyper Ethers. I, uh, I could afford, like, I don't know, 10 of those. buy 20 of these just to be sure come again three of you and in a place like this you've got a long journey ahead of you so please rest a while if you wish to awaken from this dream there probably is a way 
what will you do? Oh, this is the like midpoint where you can bail out of the dungeon. Got it. Oh, haste helm. Hey, Chrono, you want to be even faster? 50% less time between tags. Hells yes.